Praise be Jesus and Mary. It is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. You know, Jesus recalls the uh, Old Testament you know, prophecy regarding the mistreatment of, of God's house, the temple in Jerusalem. You know, when he came to uh, the temple at Jerusalem on this occasion, he found it, indeed, not as a house of prayer and worship, but as a den of thieves, as a marketplace, as it were. You know, the, um, the money changers, you know, selling things, animals and so forth, were supposed to be providing a, a service for the people, you know, the pilgrims who came there, especially from long distance, you know, uh, things to offer up in sacrifice, you know, animals and so forth. So it was a good thing in itself, you know, to provide these things in the temple area. You know, but the, um, the spirit of, uh, of the world, you know, uh, had, um, had uh, you could say, uh, made it uh, unclean what they were doing and unholy. You know, these individuals, you know, uh, were more interested in, uh, in profit and perhaps uh, were committing, you know, sins, you know, uh, under the very eyes of God, you know, right there in his house, you know, stealing and cheating and swindling and so forth, all things uh, so um, inappropriate, you know, and displeasing to our Lord, you know, in his very own house. And so our Lord had to clean the house, and he did so quite literally, you know, taking up a uh, a whip, you know, making a cord out of it, and uh, chasing out the money changers and sellers, and and you know the various animals as well, and um, and cleaning it out that way. Yeah, this is um, you know symbolic, you know, of uh, of what needs to take place, you know, in uh, in every heart and soul, you know, especially uh, you know uh, in the new covenant, you know, God, uh, you know, um, you know makes us, you know, his own temples, you know, not just, uh, you know, buildings uh, are sacred to him, but, uh, but uh, we ourselves, you know, the, uh, the temple of our bodies, you know, as, uh, as um, houses of God, you could say, and uh, we need to be clean and pure and holy, you know, each of us, you know, without anything of the uh, spirit of the world, you know, to contaminate us, to be holy in a word, you know, as God is holy. So uh, all of us have to um, allow our Lord, you know, to uh, to clean, uh, you know, this house, which is uh, you know, the temples of our bodies and hearts, our souls. You know, uh, this is um, this applies to every one of us in the church. You know, and it will be the, uh, you know, the um, the solution to all the problems in the church. You know, each and every one of us needs to be holy. You know, the crisis in the church today, you know, is uh, as it was in times previous, is a crisis of holiness, or shall we say a lack of holiness in the church among uh, the members of the church, you know, beginning with, you know, the clergy, you know, priests and bishops, you know, that's uh, really um, where the scandals come in, you know, scandals uh, in the church doing so much damage to the church and her, um, her credentials, as it were, you know, in her, her mission of, of preaching uh, the gospel of salvation, of, of saving all souls, you know, these scandals do so much damage, you know, to the mission of the church. You know, but, uh, you know, the solution is, again, you know, to allow our Lord to clean, you know, the temples, the houses, you know, uh, that we are, you know, uh, temples of God. Uh, again, especially with, you know, the... Uh, Priests, you know, bishops, and religious as well, who um, who profess to uh, to uh, live a life of holiness, you know, to uh, to seek holiness in a special way. You know, uh, just recently, I I was recommended to uh, to read a, an article, you know, um, by a confrere, a fellow friar, you know, and I've been meaning to do that in the um, National Catholic Register, you know, written by Father Roger Landry, you know, on the um, crisis in the church, the scandals in the church, and a solution to that, a very simple solution to it. And he takes his cue from a book that's been out, you know, for the past couple years. It's called In, in Sinu Yesu, you know, and it's a very beautiful book. It's, um, it's about, um, you know, basically the, the writings of, uh, 
a, uh, an anonymous Benedictine you know, monk and priest who receives reportedly, you know, uh, has received reportedly private revelations from our Lord. And he wrote down the communi communications from our Lord. And uh, our Lord instructs him over and over again of the need for priests in a particular way, you know, to, uh, to be like St. John, the evangelist, the apostle, the, the beloved disciple, you know, and to, um, and to uh, uh, like the uh, beloved disciple at the Last Supper, to lean uh, uh, his head on the, the breast, the heart of Jesus, and to, um, you know, to do so in a way, you know, um, by, uh, by way of uh, devotion, you know, to our Lord's most sacred heart in, in the most uh, holy sacrament of the altar in the Eucharist. And so the, um, the answer, you know, to all the problems in the church indicated by our Lord, you know, is um, you know, this uh, devotion to himself in the most holy Eucharist, you know, and uh, a priest especially have to be uh, adores of the Blessed Sacrament in a, in a special way, you know, and uh, and should be obviously, you know, the first to to be a, our Lord's special adorers, you know, being the ones who offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass and handle such a holy things with their own hands, you know, should be, you know, uh, prime examples of. Eucharistic adorers, and they're, they're lacking in the church today, you know, among priests uh, especially. But that's what needs to take place, and there'll be this wonderful effect in the church, you know, uh, if uh, the priests uh, give that example, you know, of being a holy, intensely Eucharistic. So I'd certainly recommend reading this book. You know, in fact, a, a lay person you know, gave this this uh, copy uh, to the friars to read and. And it's a wonderful uh, gift you, you you could make to uh, your pastor or priest. You know, you know that uh, you know it's that call from our Lord you know to be um, again like Saint John, the beloved disciple. And so, if we see this this happening, there will be uh, certainly a uh, a uh, a wonderful uh, renewal and reform in the church today. You know, the produ a production of many. Uh, holy priests and holy laity, holy religious, uh, and, uh, and so to uh, win back you know, all the souls out there who are uh, wanting and demand, and have a right to you know, uh, holiness from the members of, of God's church. And so we ask Our Lady, Mother of the Most Holy Eucharist, you know, to uh, give us this great love you know, for her son at the Most Blessed Sacrament, at Holy Mass, in the tabernacle, in the monstrance, and Holy Communion, and help us to be really Eucharistic souls. Praise be Jesus and Mary.